Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a Microsoft Edge browser update rolling out, which was made available once again late yesterday in my part of the world on the 15th of August. Now, as always, to check if we have this latest point release, we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And after the update has been applied, a browser version and build is sitting on 127.0.2651. 0.105 and that's been bumped up from 0.98. Now there's quite a couple of things going on with this latest update. First of all, Microsoft says once again they have fixed various bugs and performance issues and have improved the reliability. And the reliability they've improved is actually quite important because they fixed a browser crash that occurred when trying to upload documents on some websites. So that's an important fix that's rolled out. And then Microsoft also says that they have the latest Chromium security fixes for the open source Chromium project, which the browser is based on. And as far as I'm aware, there haven't been any Chromium security updates that have rolled out this week for any of the Chromium-based web browsers. And last week, Microsoft Edge also received a security update for the Chromium platform. So nonetheless, they say they have the latest Chromium open source security patches and there's also an edge specific security fix for the browser itself so all you need to do is just make sure your browser is up to date and the update should patch any holes be that for reliability crashes or security with this latest point release point 105. now with all that out of the way i want to bring your attention to a little change that i've spotted which i actually posted on a week or so ago and has now made its way as a new feature into the stable version of Microsoft Edge with this latest point release update. And this seems to be across the board because I'm seeing it in the stable version of Microsoft Edge on both my Windows 10 and my Windows 11 laptop. And if we head to the sidebar, it's the new sidebar visibility um, settings where basically you can get better control over your sidebar visibility. And we get three settings always on, which obviously means that the sidebar is always displayed to the right hand side. Auto hidden, which means you can see the sidebar is auto hidden. And then if you hover over or click on the Copilot button, that opens up Copilot obviously, and then also opens up the side panel. And then you've got off, which then totally removes the sidebar. Even if you open up Copilot, um, there's no sidebar. So you've got a couple of options with this. And uh, um, I think this is a nice move. It just gives you a lot more versatility and a lot more control over, you know, customizing the browser to your own personal choice and preference. And something else to take note of, if you turn the sidebar off, as I have posted on previously, if we head into the Copilot settings and you toggle off Show co Copilot, you've even got more control. Because now you've got no Copilot button, which I know isn't a popular choice in the Edge browser. And you've got no sidebar. And then the only way to get the sidebar to show up is to click on the little sidebar button. And then you've just got the sidebar without Copilot. So you get the kind of the point I'm trying to make. You've got a couple of um, customization options that are now available. So that could be a nice move in the right direction for some of you who are actually um, using Copilot and or the sidebar and just want to customize your browser a little bit further so there we have it off auto hidden and always on and i posted on this just a couple of days ago when it was in early preview and has already made its way into the stable version so obviously microsoft thinks that this is a good idea and i actually think this is a nice move as mentioned just a little bit more um versatility when it comes to the browser so as mentioned that's the latest point release which rolled out on the 15th bringing bug fixes, performance fixes, they've improved the reliability with a crash fix, and then we also get some security patches. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.